Internet TV to the universe. Log on to Chief You. We're gonna talk about um what's in the news right now. So the father, you know, we have our father who um recently passed away after he killed his daughter. You know, so we're just gonna have a little debate discussion on that, what our thoughts are, you know, moving forward. You know, what are we now? Let's bring it back and talk about what happened and then what led to now the father. Because there's so much speculation about what happened to the father. What happened. Right. Right? So on Valentine's Day, there was a young lady who it was her birthday and her mother's birthday. And she went to dinner with her father. And through circumstances, she died. Yep. 11-year-old, right? 11, right. And it's alleged that the father did something to her. Now... As Althea just said, the father has since passed away. When the police apprehended him, they didn't immediately say they were taking him to hospital. Days later, you heard that he was in hospital, and then days later, you heard it was gunshot. You don't know if it was. Did they say it? <laughs> they self, said self yeah. inflicted gunshot. Self inflicted gunshot wound. So for me, it was like, why didn't they say that right away? I, I, that part kind of catch me because now they're saying self. Not them, but sources are saying it's self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Mm -hmm. But OPP officers, they were the one that actually Apprehended. took him down the high risk yes. takedown. Take down. And they have, they didn't notice any gunshot wound. Peel police was, was the municipal police that actually found the gunshot wound and, and saying, okay, like, this man is injured. Where was the wound located, though? I don't think that's something Sources that are heard. saying it's to the head, but it can't... I am saying how, how, how it's going to be to the head. head been visible right. And right away. It, yeah. So, it... There's a lot of It lead us to, you know what we said, John Public. Right. Right. But, you know, again, the tragedy is in the young girl's death. And, you know, a lot of people wanted to see him brought to justice. Right. Now, was this a better form of justice? I think so. Sometimes you need jungle justice. I don't think so. This doesn't solve anything. There's, there's no justice right now because this is like a scapegoat. Because if it is self-inflicted, right, that just means basically he tried to take his life after he did something. But that's him not wanting to face the consequences of his actions. So this is not... This is not justice. If, 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 because they said it's self-inflicted, right? No, the the SIU mm -hmm. is investigating. Mm -hmm. They've been calling because the OPP apparently didn't notice right. the self self-inflicted wound. So Peel Police was the one. So now you have to call in the SIU when there's when, something yeah, like any this. Injuries because, involving police right. services. So you know. Um, I am saying, yes, it's it's self-inflicted. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Air quote saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's self, but I, I definitely don't think so. Something happened along the line. Something happened along the line where probably a man like Richie, I work the night day, mm. and I say, yo, dog, we're not bringing him in, dog. <laughs> <laughs> You say he's not going to make it. Uh, yeah, someone like Richie I wrote the night. Okay. The super, the super like Richie. Yeah. He must say, dog, we're not bringing it. Like, we are going to find something and give him mm -hmm. a data for him. We are going to assign this weapon to him and it's going to be self-inflicted. Richie, what are your thoughts on this whole situation here in, in, in what's um, happening? So, I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but I'm happy he's dead. <laughs> I told you. No, I'm happy he's dead uh -huh. because I mean everybody knows what he did, and I don't think there's no jail term long enough, no jail punishment harsh enough in Canada at least that would fit. You know what I mean? That would fit yeah. the pain not only that he inflicted on his daughter but on the daughter's mother and on the whole community, the whole GTA, the whole yeah. country. That you know what I mean? Kind of like felt it through through the situation like there's no jail term or sentencing that they could have imposed on him so i'm glad to say i'm dead like, I, my, my thoughts are more so with the mother like you know i don't know if this will now bring her peace no the mud well in, in saying that you know this is not somebody who you have to look at anymore whether or not he went to jail or not i don't know if that would give her the same peace as he's no longer breathing 
Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that was my thought. Would it give you peace? To know he's no longer breathing? Absolutely. I would have liked to have a hand in that personally. What's, As a mother, what's very you know, contrary? Like, give me a chance. <laughs> what's because you okay? Like, so. You know, in between the, you know, he was apprehended and and the self inflicted gunshot wound. Just give me a chance. Call give me, me a let hammer. me know. Like. Just give me a hammer. <laughs> the me a interesting chance. part of that story though is he died on the same day that the little girl is getting buried. 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 Yes. So that 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 brings a twist to the story. People are saying, look what the mother have to deal with again, because... God. I think, I mean, again, none of us are really going to know her pain unless mm -hmm. you've gone through a situation like that directly. But I think it, more so than anything, she's going to play back her decision to leave or her decision to end the relationship. You know what I mean? Because that's where it all starts. It all starts right there with that decision. It's like people always sometimes say... Um, they stay in a relationship because of the kids. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've always been an advocate for myself and others that I'm never staying with somebody because we have a child together, nor should you. Like, I don't advise anybody to stay in a relationship because there's a child involved. If that is what's keeping you there, mm -hmm. left, right? But on in her situation now, she's saying, if I had stayed, if I had stayed and just dealt with Whatever he was the rough doing, times. the rough times, the whatever personal problems we had that I felt was too much. If I just dealt with it, my daughter would still be here. Or on the flip side to that, she could be dead too. You could have taken the two of them and pies in the two of them. Mm -hmm. We've seen that before. She would have prayed for that. She would have prayed for that because if she doesn't have any more children, which we haven't heard them talk about any more children for her. That's right. Like, it's one of those things where people always say, if you kill my child, kill me too, because I can't live with that pain. Yeah. Yeah. She would have prayed for that. Definitely. She would have prayed for kill it too at one time. Because for you now, you've killed my child. You're now gone. My birthday is never going to be the same. Like, no day is going to be the same, but my birthday is but never yeah, going to be the same. Like, how do you send Because it's my birthday? daughter's birthday yeah. and the yeah. same day that you took her from. Like, yeah. she's going to look back and be like, it's if traumatizing. I had just stayed. Prayer Which helps. Is, so we scary. The, the family needs prayer. And that's all I can, we can really say right now. Prayer, time, and healing. Boy, I don't know. As I say, the man passed. I'm beside with Richie. Yeah, man. Glad it's a good man. one. It's a good one. Yo, he should have, but he should have not died like, he should have had like a more painful death. You know what I mean? The yeah. gunshot to the head business. No, you don't deserve it. I'm not even sure because it, there's some, there's some information that is still withheld where we still don't know how the child died there's speculation yeah. there's speculation and it and and yes their sources are saying that he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound where that is speculation as well because mm -hmm. we're not sure you know so well again as we said last week you know our thoughts and prayers go with the family for sure and you know we hope that you have a speedy recovery and healing yeah to the mother right. and, and the family yeah, yeah. And it was definitely good to see, you know, and as Sean mentioned earlier, as Canadians, you know, we felt it. And we know we rallied around and we really supported because at, at the end of the day, you know, everybody just needs that support. Everybody just needs to know that somebody cares, you know, and with a tragedy like this, especially with a child, you know, the, the, the rallying around was a good look. Okay. Yeah, definitely so. All right, so let's uh, take a break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to get into our next topic, you know, next hot topic. We're going to talk about Jussie Smollett. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>